Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today we're going to talk about how to find a percentage of a number. So what does the word percentage mean? Percentage just means divide by a hundred. Right? How easy is that? So basically if I for example have a pizza Right, uh, I know this is probably a very badly drawn pizza, but let's say I somehow divide this pizza up into a hundred slices. Okay, it'll be sort of a bit hard to divide into that many slices, but somehow if I keep dividing this, cutting up this pizza into a hundred slices, a hundred slices then one little slice would be one percent okay if there were a hundred slices in this pizza so when we find a percentage of a number okay so for example let's say the question is find um, let's say thirty percent of let's say fifty dollars Okay, the first thing is we try to find 1%. And how do we find 1%? We divide it by 100. So we get the number that we want to find the percentage of. So we get a $50. And the first thing is we divide it by 100. And this action here, dividing it by 100, the answer will be 1% of 50. So What's 50 divided by 100? Well, using the shortcut we learned previously, move the decimal point to the left, it'll be uh, $0 $0.5. $0 $0.5 is 1% of $50, right? Because how do we get 0 0.5? We divided 50 by 100, and that is giving us 1%. All right, 1 out of 100. 1 out of 100 of 50 is 0 0.5. So if we want 30%, what do we do? Well, we then multiply 0 0.5 by 30. And what's that going to give us? That's going to give us $15, which is 30% of $50. So what is the shortcut? Okay, what is the shortcut of doing that? Well, let's do another one. So let's say we want to find 25% of $80. So the first thing is we go 80 divided by 100. That gives us 1% times by 25. That'll give us 25%. All right, and 80 divided by 100 is 0 0.8 times 25, and that will give us $20. Okay, so what is another even better shortcut if you have a calculator? Okay, if you, for example, want to do find. Um, 32% of $5,600. Now, you would probably do 5,600 divided by 100 times 32. You can do that. But if you have a calculator, okay, what you're going to find is that when you do 5,600 divided by 100, times 32 it's going to give you the same answer as 5600 times 32 divided by 100 right why is that it's because if we follow the order of operations okay if we follow the order of operations the first thing you do is brackets exponents division multiplication um, addition subtraction 
division and multiplication are at the same level. So it doesn't matter if you times or if you times by 32 first or if you divide by 100 first, you're going to get the same answer. All right? So I'll give you a, sh a smaller example so you can see if you have 2 times 5 divided by 2 times 6 divided by 4 that what's that going to give you that's going to give you 12 divided by 4 which is 3 it's going to give you the same answer as 2 times uh sorry 2 divided by 4 times 6 right because what's 2 divided by 4 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5 times 6 is still 3 so it doesn't matter if you change the order around when they are at the same uh, when it's times and divide alright so um, division and multiplication you can change the order around so um, now 32 divided by 100 um, you can also just do this part first so it'll be 5,600 times by 0 0.32, All right? And that will give you 1,792. Okay, so what I'm saying here is a shortcut for finding percentages if you have a calculator, okay? so. For example, if I say find 27% uh, of, uh, well, it doesn't have to be dollars, of let's just say any amount, 493, then all you got to do is you just go 493 times 0 0.27 and just do that on the calculator. And that will easily give you the answer instead of doing divided by 100 times 27 which you can as well uh, if you want to so the answer is going to be if you type that into the calculator it'll be 133.11 okay um, so what if you want a percentage that um, is more than a hundred percent so for example find three hundred and eighty percent of fifty dollars well you can either do fifty divided by a hundred to give you one percent times by three eighty okay you can either do that that's option one or option two is you can just go fifty times three point eight Right, where did I get 3.8? Well, if you do 380 divided by 100, you get 3.8, and that's why you can do that. Okay, so that's basically the two methods that you can use for finding percentages. Uh, I hope you guys find this useful. Uh, just before I leave, I'll find the answer out for you. The answer is 190. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.